How much does business coaching cost? Is a common question, of course. There are a broad range of coaching approaches and methods. It can range from many thousands per month to a hundred pounds. So what factors influence this range and how do you decide what is right for you? Here are the top five. Number one, how fast you want to scale and your capacity to execute on the work. For example, do you have a leadership team or is it mainly you? This will determine how much engagement you need with a coach and whether it is better to work in a group of a certain size or one-to-one. -one. Number two, the level of the coach. You get what you pay for in coaching more so than most other things. If we're not delivering returns or value, people stop paying at that level. So top coaches deliver more value, better returns, and the investment is higher. We invest in ourselves to increase that value and therefore fees. The correct mantra, and I do it with my coach, is to invest the most you can at that stage. It's an investment in your own development. Don't shortchange yourself. You should be focused on a return and invest your time and energy in maximising the value. It therefore shouldn't cost anything. You do need to cash flow until you see the greater returns over time. So how much can you invest right now? Number three, the type of coaching. Business coaching is a broad church covering planning, mentoring, education, business, life, mindset. For example, I cover all of these as a business coach. But be clear what you need. Some are very much focused on just one or two of them. Clearly full business coaching with a lot of experience, proven strategies and a focus on returns via business growth may be a bigger investment than a mindset coach. Number four, underlying coaching program and framework. I have another video explaining action coach and other methodologies. If you're investing in one person's experience and processes, even say 25 years, it's typically a lower investment than if there is an underlying proven program with all the proven tools and strategies. It's a big investment for the coach to leverage that experience and tools. That increases the client's investment. Going back to point two, you receive a greater return thanks to leveraging thousands of years of experience and tested strategies across thousands of businesses. Number five, final, simple answer, statistically a lot less than being well coached. Learning business on your own experience is hugely expensive. We have blind spots, things we don't know, we don't know or are not focused on. Not being challenged, improving each decision incrementally or learning before you embark on something costs fortunes in time and money. Author Keith Cunningham calls it our stupid tax. For example, think of one poor recruitment decision due to not having enough process, experience or candidates. Statistically, it has cost you four times the basic salary versus the opportunity cost of having a great hire. The failure rate of businesses is 80% within five years without a coach or mentor and 20% with. So the failure rate in the second five years is just as high as owners burn out. So that's terribly expensive and a waste. Look, I hope that's helped you in your exploration of coaching. Feel free to watch my other videos. Up next is group coaching versus one-on-one. -on -one. Which should I choose? And good luck in finding what is right for you. There's no pressure to work with me. I'm fussy who I work with, but I'm always happy to help you find what's right for you. If you have any other questions or feedback, please ask in the comments.